Satisfactory is a game of, okay, I need this much of this and that much of that. So my options are to make it myself or have someone else make it for me. My boyfriend's hands are pretty full, so maybe I'll have a robot do it instead. Robot or boyfriend, life's a lot easier when I'm not the one doing the heavy lifting. Either way, it's never a bad idea to keep the girlfriend satisfied. <laughs> In terms of the game's name, nothing's more satisfying than getting all the different arrays lined up, powered, and working as intended. Of course, that's a lot easier said than done when the two people in charge of making it happen lack communication skills. Whoa, you look so cool, you're I'm floating. floating. Do you have tits? I'm frozen. Yeah, we're, I just told you, we're all women. Oh yeah! Before you get access to constructors, you have to do a lot of fabricating by hand. Unless you're my boyfriend. He's told me several times that he loves playing with me more than his friends because it's like having access to a constructor before actually building one. This is because I'm more than happy to just sit there in the hub holding down my mouse button while he runs around doing who knows what. As usual, my boyfriend gets super OCD about everything being placed neatly and in a straight line. It's a lot harder in this game because of the uneven terrain. I'm constantly placing things and witnessing the visual disgust on his face when they aren't spaced evenly and laid out carefully. Okay. <laughs> what? What's wrong? It's just like... <laughs> what? What's wrong? It's just like funny. Well, I can... What's funny about it? The fact that like you didn't... Like, I, I don't know, I just figured you would like be here and line it up, but instead you did it like over to the left. Well, I did line it up. Is it not lined up? I don't know, why don't we stand on top of this uh, storage thing together and take a look? <laughs> oh my goodness. He tells me it's not a big deal, but I'm definitely caught in removing them and replacing them when he thinks I'm not looking. Luckily, things can be picked up without losing any materials, otherwise this game would take us twice as long just based off of sloppiness alone. Oh, oh, oh. We'll get somebody to clean that up. We're the ones that gotta clean that up. Organization's kind of a big deal in this game. And if you don't already know, it's kind of my boyfriend's thing. He likes planning a bunch of stuff out in an Excel spreadsheet and then uses those blueprints to build the ultimate mega factory. Any game that requires pre-gaming is usually one that I don't want to go near with a 10 foot pole. But the plants fall apart almost as soon as we touch down on the planet, so I'll give this one a pass. Welcome to Planet Massage 2, A, B, oh, shit. B, your designated- In any factory building game, the girlfriend's best friend has always been and will always be the temporary array. I'm really grateful that I chose a partner who can be decisive and make decisions, because when I see the laundry list of items that are requested, I don't even know where to start. My brain just kind of flatlines. He'll delegate what each of us should do, and I'll run off to go build some haphazard sequence of belts and containers that we agree to call a temporary array. Even though he and I both know that we'd be much better off calling it what it is and scratching the temporary from the name. This cluttered mess of metal is here to stay. So what's going on here? It looks like we're not mining anything, huh? Here, follow me. I'll give you the tour. This is what happens when you let Taryn take the stick. I've been known to accidentally plug the wrong bell into the wrong container now and again. <laughs> I always hold my breath when the factory grinds to a halt and everything stops working because there's only like a one in five chance that it wasn't me. What, the, what happened now? My boyfriend is really good at troubleshooting and finding out what's wrong. And if I didn't know any better, I think he likes figuring out my fuck ups more than actually playing the game the normal way. Every time he finds a supply chain issue, he shoots me a look that just screams, I know it was you. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I didn't know I could hurt you, I'm sorry. <laughs> In general, my boyfriend will let me run wild and do my own smaller projects while he works on the larger, more elaborate ones. It's usually smart to divide and conquer, but we're no stranger to bumping elbows and having to build belts going over and under right through the middle of each other's projects. We're used to living right on top of each other, but unlike at home, I can't just reset the GFI when I accidentally cross a wire and blow the whole operation. Get a cow. Okay! <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm danger prone, but I do find myself leaping before I look a lot. You'd think the ominous green fog would scream, don't go exploring over there, but alas, my curiosity will always lead me to certain death. With my track record, it's probably obvious my boyfriend doesn't let me drive anymore either. Oh god. Okay, um, Nick, Nick, Nick. Apply the handbrake. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> This one time when I was still learning, my boyfriend sent me off to go get biomass and I walked around for like half an hour trying to figure out if there was a way to chop down a tree. He got so wrapped up in his own shenanigans, he forgot me like a parent with their kid in the grocery store. I literally can't get out. <laughs>
Are you okay? No, I came in with my wife and now I can't find her. It's a lot more difficult to destroy the local flora and fauna in Satisfactory because things look a lot prettier. Unfortunately, for the sake of industry, the local inhabitants are gonna have to relocate or get zapped. I feel especially bad for the animals, even though they tried to kill me. He's pissed, I'm pissed. Ah! In a lot of these types of games, we both follow the same old scenario, working towards the end goal of the game, but then somewhere along the line, we find so many distractions that we end up down several of our own self-dug rabbit holes. Look at me! Whoa! Boing. It's just so tempting to take a break from the main gameplay loop and stop and see what would happen if we rode the space elevator into the stratosphere. Three, two, one! Here I go! Woohoo! Oh my god! <laughs> Earth below us. Um, I think I bugged out. I joked about building a roller coaster in our other favorite factory game, but this time around, you can actually ride them for real. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine to waste a ton of materials building the belts in winding, fun ways. It's not really the most efficient use of our stuff, but in terms of my enjoyment, I find it quite satisfactory. I think it's safe to say that the game is at its most fun when you're putting out your own fires. This is self-inflicted fun and I am totally living for it. I remember spending almost an hour trying to set up an array and then connecting it to our grid and immediately blowing a fuse and shutting down the entire factory. Erupting into laughter instead of rolling your eyes shows that either this game is doing something right or we are both psychotic. It's really fun. Uh oh, something just broke. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever see the end of this game before we start experiencing crashes from too many entities on the screen. But the more I think about it, that might be a blessing, not a curse. If things went too well, I don't think our cat would ever get fed again. And to be honest, he may find that unsatisfactory.